getting ready to put a clear coat on my uh, on my tank. I'm just uh, covering up some of the holes. So I, I covered up the fuel pipe cock, and I'm covering up the hole where the gas gauge goes using the Rust-Oleum shake well. I'm going to work like this. Tack cloth to uh, get rid of any dirt, dust. So in a YouTube video to use tack cloth, so that's what I'm using. See that little dot there? Turn this so that the arrow on top is pointing to the dot. Test. Now, I'm not worried too much about being perfectly even as I do this because this is just the inside. I'm mainly doing this to protect any rustic from happening in the inside. Alright, I think that's good for now. Let's take a little look at it so you guys can see uh, how it's coming along. You can see over here I put a little bit more, I applied a little bit more than I, I intended to. It's definitely not even, but it's a little glossy right now because it's wet. Also, the paint underneath it is a bit glossy, but you can see over here is some of the exposed metal that I was telling you about. That's the main reason why I'm painting the inside. Just to, uh, there it is over there on that side too, just to protect that metal. All right, so we'll be back in a few minutes. It's been about 10 minutes. And um, you can already see kind of a, uh, it's got a nice little finish to it, especially around here on the bottom. So I'm going to go and put another coat, maybe put another one after that. Maybe minimum three, probably four, maybe even five, we'll see. Just concentrating on the metal, the exposed metal parts on the inside. Spraying very generously. All right. Let's see how it looks. So yeah, just try to get real heavy on all these metal areas. All right, we'll be back in a few minutes. After the second coat, I really, really like this matte finish. It looks really nice. So this is after the third coat. definitely looking like it's getting a lot more coverage. I can see over here, down here at the bottom, I guess uh, you can see it dripping down. Again, I'm not worried about too much how it looking super nice. I'm more worried about protecting these exposed pieces of metal. That was code number four. And uh, yeah, we'll wait a little while. After that, I'm done. Turn it around, paint the outside.
tack cloth. This is after the second coat. Must do a third coat. I'm liking it. This is how the fourth coat is looking. I can definitely feel this clear layer of paint on top. I'm gonna wipe it one more time with the tie cloth and then continue with a fifth coat. Six coats done. That orange peel texture, I'm going to try to work that out if I can. But I'm gonna wait a couple of days before I do it. So this is how the tank is looking just after spraying it six times. And uh, I'll be back to show you the wet sanding process in a couple of days. See you then. Six coats. A clear coat. Um, I don't know why. I just felt like I had to. Again, I'm not a mechanic. This is my first time doing this. I'm doing this all based on videos I've watched on YouTube. And um, it kind of, uh, it, it's a matte clear. So that's why you don't see it look too shiny. Um, it looks pretty even to me, but it does have a, a bit of a rough texture. So I just want to smooth that out. So I have uh, a different grades of sandpaper here. I have... Uh, 1,500, 2,000, oh, another 2,000, great, and uh, 2,500. So I'm going to start with uh, this one, 1,500. I have a little tub of water. It's been sitting around, has some bubbles in it, but it's water. It's like a regular kitchen sponge. This one's clean. Just I've used it a few times for sanding already. even dip this a little bit in the water why not and then just wrap it around 
and very gently. When I say very gently, I mean very, very gently. I'm just letting it drag. I'm barely putting any pressure at all. I think I need some more water, actually. Wet it up a little bit more. Not that you're trying to take off any of the clear coat, you just try to smooth it out. Again, you don't need gloves, I'm just being a neat freak. Every YouTube video I saw was telling, telling me to be careful with like any parts that kind of pop out. Like, you see how there's kind of a, you see how there's kind of like a, a little bit of an indent in here. So because of these little corners that pop out, you know, they, the paint and stuff comes off a little bit easier. So you have to be, almost just go like once across and then keep it moving. Any little corner pieces or parts of the bike that are just popping out or going in. Let's be very careful. I don't know if you're supposed to be doing circles or going in one direction. I felt like I saw different things on YouTube. Again, this is my first time doing it, so if anybody knows better than me, please correct me and let me know what you guys think. I think I'm good with the 1500. I think I'm just going to jump to 2500 to see what happens. Just let it drag. See like over here, just like fold it a little bit. Not that much pressure, just making sure I don't lose it. And just keep it going. I think we're pretty much done. I'm going to wipe this down and see how it looks. Using a sponge now that's a little bit soaked up with water to just kind of wash out the rubbed off clear coat. I say rubbed because I sanded it but it's more of a rub down with the sandpaper. Very very gentle. Painting my fuel tank with matte clear is finally complete. I am really happy with the results. I like the bare metal look with all its imperfections. I think it will give my bike some character. The painting process had some challenges because there's a lot to keep in mind. Working in an area that's well ventilated, wearing the right protection like gloves and a mask, prepping the tank with the tack cloth, and having the patience to wait between coats. I waited at least 10 minutes between coats. My tank has six coats of matte clear. If you do the math, that's at least an hour of waiting and that's just for the top of the tank. All in all, spraying matte clear paint isn't too hard to do. Once I was done spraying the tank, I waited for a couple of days and then started wet sanding. This was probably the easiest part of the whole process. The key is to barely apply any pressure at all while wet sanding. It worked out great and now the tank is nice and smooth. I hope you found this video to be helpful and maybe now you have the confidence to try a project like this on your own. Subscribe and watch my upcoming videos where I work on my side frame covers. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment on this video. Thanks for watching.